Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dr. Hydro Show. It's Dr. Hydro here. I just wanted to show you what's in my toolkit so that I can hydro every day. A PPM pen, a pH testing pen, a funnel, a medicine dropper, and a plastic plunger. For my nutrients, I'm using the General Hydroponics three-part line. It is very user-friendly. It has the um, dosage on the back. I'm also using HydroGuard. And this is to take care of my roots. It kind of gives my roots a boost. And this, uh, I cannot state how important this is to me, pH down. Now your water might be different. You might have to pH up. I know that I have a bottle of pH up somewhere that I probably haven't even opened yet because my water from the tap usually runs about eight. So I always have to pH down to grow the things that I like to grow. My plants like to be in the pH range of 5.8 to 6.5. They like more acidic things. So you may have seen me do a lot of my work out of big five gallon containers. And maybe you don't work out of five gallon containers because you don't hydro as big as I do. Maybe all you need is a one gallon jug. You can still hydro in a one gallon jug following the measurements on the back of the General Hydroponics three part line. So let's talk about this first. This is a pH pen. This is a meter that tests how um, acidic or alkaline your water is, you need this. You cannot hydro without this. You can try, it might work, but um, I find the, my most successful results have come from having this pen and making sure that it is functioning properly and calibrated. This is an Apera Labs pH pen. And this is my number two. This is a PPM conductivity pen. This is gonna tell you the nutrient levels in your water. You can tell if you fed your plant too much or if you need to add more food to your water. Blue Labs is my favorite, and this is number two in your toolkit. Keep these two meters with you at all times. Now these are my hacks, a funnel. When you're dealing with hydroponics, you're gonna need a funnel so that you don't spill any of that very, very precious nutrient water that you've created and spent your money on. Plus it helps you um, put it right into the roots uh, or wherever in the pot you have it. Let's say you're working with coconut coir, um, it's kind of like a, a soil, it resembles soil and texture, so you wanna concentrate the areas inside. A funnel is perfect. A medicine dropper. We all have these stuffed in a drawer, tossed in the trash. Keep them because they're perfect for measuring out your nutrients. And this little plastic plunger, HydroGuard. This gives my roots a boost. It has an active bacteria in it, and um, I add it to my five gallon containers so that my roots are always being taken care of. I love this stuff. I've seen it cure root rot in my basil plants. I can't recommend it enough. pH down. I use this all the time. Every single time I do my nutrient water, I use pH down to bring my tap water plus my nutrients down to the perfect level for my plants. My plants like to live in a 5.8 to 6.5 range in their water. Part one of the general hydroponics uh, three part series. Part two of the General Hydroponics three-part series. And part three of the General Hydroponics three-part series. Now I'm gonna show you how you can hydro in a one gallon jug. It's a lot easier than people think. I've filled this jug with water, with my regular tap water. I'm gonna show you first how to add your nutrients. That is step one when you're doing your, your water um, nutrient solutions for your plants. So I've got my three-part General Hydroponics line here. Let's start with part one. So on the back of the bottle, it has a dosage schedule. And for a one gallon container, it says to have one teaspoon of the first bottle. There is one teaspoon perfectly measured. Part two. Also one teaspoon, perfectly measured. And part three. After you add your nutrients, you're gonna to wanna to stir. I have this Blue Labs truncheon meter, which I absolutely love, just because I'm a, a fan of Blue Labs. But you don't need it. Maybe you do need it. I think you should get it. But um, it's just really for stirring. It gets all the way down into the bottom of my jugs. So now that I have nutrified my water, I'm gonna to wanna to see what the content is. Grab your PPM pen, your conductivity pen. So it looks like my nutrient content is at 970. If you're happy with that, um, you can stop with the nutrients, but if you wanted to add more nutrients, you feel free to. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. So now that I have nutrified, the most important part now is going to stabilize my water. I'm gonna be using my pH pen for that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see what my water is so that I know if I need to go up or down. 
So it looks like my pH level right now, after you add your nutrients, it, mine is at 6.7. So like I said, the plants that I typically grow live in a range of 5.8 to 6.5. That means I need to go down. Grab the pH down, give it a shake. It comes with a plastic plunger. Put it in your bottle. And the key here is to add little drops. Don't dump a bunch of this into your water. You're gonna end up going too far down. Um, so just little drops. One, two, three, four, just a little bit, half the plunger. Give it a stir. And check your levels. I need to go further down. I'm at 6.5, I need to go a little bit further. I'm gonna try to get it more towards the six, the six point range. And then check your levels. Just keep adding little tiny drops until you get to where you wanna be. And that is how you can hydro out of a one gallon jug. You can do the same thing out of a five gallon jug as high as you wanna go. After you've neutrified and stabilized your water, if you have got your hydro guard, now is when you would add your hydro guard. And you would follow the measurements on the back of the bottle. Give it a shake. So if you're working out of a one gallon jug, measure out two milliliters on your medicine plunger and then add it to your water. And that's not a lot. So this whole bottle will go a long way. And then you just add it. Give it a stir. And you're good to go. All right guys, so that's what's in my toolkit. And if you want a hydro like me on any level, big or small, make sure you get all the things that I have in my toolkit. If you like the content that I've been turning out, please like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.